What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Scream 7 in this video here today. I want to basically address something regarding a big star that we all, well, not all of us, that a lot of us are hoping to see back in Scream 7. And if she is brought back, we want to see her used in the best way possible and not just thrown into the mix because she wasn't able to make it for the last outing. So Scream 7, we know, is a work in progress. As we all know, a few weeks ago after I saw my favorite horror movie of the year, Talk To Me, I did a video to discuss what I've heard about Scream 7 so far. At the time, what I disclosed was that Christopher Landon was asked to direct. Radio Silence would be producing. And the reason they weren't directing is because of their interest in doing other projects before doing Scream Again. I also mentioned that everyone is expected back cast-wise. And then reputable outlets bigger than myself later that week started confirming those at the time rumors that same week. Uh, Landon signed prior to the strike. The core four are expected back. Melissa and Mason being the two that I recall being mentioned in those reputable outlets. I think Hollywood Reporter was the one who mentioned them with mentions of keeping an eye on Jenna since her availability could shift Tara plans if Jenna isn't able to completely commit to the project the way they might intend her to. Although, again, I've heard some some rumors about how Tara could be incorporated into the story, which I won't be sharing in this video, but I'm just saying. I didn't share everything I heard because the list is too long. Not all of this is worth discussing right now, but Sydney Prescott, of course, is worth discussing. A few weeks ago, Fandom Empire, shout out to you if you know who Fandom Empire is from the Halloween Inn stuff and from their content they have over on their channel, you know who I'm talking about. Fandom Empire, and I'll even link to their channel in the description. They had echoed some stuff I was brushing off initially because I think Sam Carpenter should be our main focus of Scream 7. Fandom Empire, though, left a comment to me on Twitter stating that they had also heard a new director would do seven and that Radio Silence would stick around to produce, which ended up being true. Now, a third part of what they had heard is that Scream 7 wouldn't be a direct follow up to six, but rather a Sydney story. So two thirds of the rumor they heard came true. So now we just have to wait for that last bit regarding a Sydney centric film to come to fruition to see if that part is true. Uh, I have heard rumblings about that fandom empire being one of the content creators i've heard it from i do want to shout out beyond the mask who made a video about this topic i'm about to discuss in july as well as you nick from the lost river lost river driving i'll leave a link to both channels in the description i know these two have heard this same thing i'm about to discuss with nev and just for the sake of being bold, I know that certain more reputable horror outlets have heard this too. And viewer Non has actually commented on this not too long ago. So here's what's known about Miss Campbell. Nev Campbell was 100% negotiating her future in the Scream franchise prior to the SAG and WGA strikes. Now, a lot of you might be going, well, duh. I mean, that's not necessarily a duh thing <laughs> to everybody. But she 100% was negotiating prior to the strikes similar to how christopher landon was negotiating prior to the strikes and signed as we learned not too long ago just like with landon i do have to say this about nev i don't know if i believe she did not sign but i will say i was told that she had not signed on yet although her alleged actions at the fan expo event lead me to believe she either did sign or she's open to negotiating after the strike settle Remember, a fan over on Beyond the Mask channel left a comment saying that Nev said she didn't know if she could talk about Scream 7. So to me, that means she is at least interested, like she admitted to being after skipping 6. Again, I know for certain people with a better track record than me have heard this same thing. And viewer Non, again, made a public comment about this recently. She quite literally cannot be negotiating right now, so it happened prior to the strikes. And I will also add this. I've been told Seven was indeed ready to go with filming in the fall, but the strikes, of course, altered everything. The script is ready. It would seem auditions, I would have to assume, have taken place. And the cast that they have must be locked in every way, but on paper due to the strikes. Now, the Sydney-centric story is the bit that, again, is the rumor that, not coming from me, but again, came from Fandom Empire, and I've heard it from a few other people, but Fandom Empire was echoing stuff I was initially brushing off. So, the Sydney-centric story does kind of have me concerned if it ends up being true. If Seven Shifts focus to Sydney, I can praise it on its own merits if it's, again, executed well, but it just might come off weird if we never get another film. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm thinking... What if Scream 7 
is not capable of finding that balance between the Carpenters and Sydney. So then you would have something that doesn't feel com complete be unless you give us a Scream 8. But if they're intending 7 to be the final chapter as we know it, because of course if it's a success, this IP will return for the indefinite future. But if you can't find that balance, it's just going to feel a little hollow. I think there is a lot more of a importance to finish the Carpenter stories than Sidney Prescott's story. I say that as someone who has arguably, as, as much as a lot of you have, we've seen her story finished in a lot of satisfying ways to us. Now, they might not be satisfying to people who are newly discovering these movies because of the Con because of the controversy of why she didn't do six but there are several entries now where she has what you can consider a decent exit if not a worthy exit from the series so i think sam carpenter deserves the same the same treatment sam is the character you guys created so i think sam is the character you should be propelling and trying to create a narrative around to mostly carry Scream 7. If it happens to be Sydney, then that's fine. Neff Campbell, I'm sure, is going to bring her A-game like she always does. I just would hope you're able to still find that balance of keeping it about Sam while also simultaneously propelling Sydney up to the focus as well. Keeping it balanced, allowing both final girls to culminate, coming up with something related to Ghostface that ties in both of their plot threads one last final time to end the IP as we know it before it is inevitably either remade down the road or rebooted with Sydney's kids if you want to go that route or rebooted in some other capacity that has nothing to do with anything we have no come to know and love about the status of Scream as it is now. So you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. Again, the biggest thing to take away from this video is that Nev Campbell was 100% negotiating to return or at least negotiating her future of the Scream franchise in the Scream franchise prior to the SAG and WGA strikes. And again, you can say, oh, well, that's a duh thing. So again, not a lot of people are going to be, oh, well, yeah, of course she was. Given the fallout of six, a lot of people are going to be happy to hear this. But I do know that, of course, people more reputable than me have heard this, too. Why is no one talking about it? The strikes. There's certain things going on with a certain horror actress who has made a certain comment on Twitter. I'm not going to say who she was, but I did. A, I did make a comment to it. There's certain things going on with that actress that are not being announced because of the strikes. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that the same thing is happening with Miss Campbell. She could indeed have signed on and Nev Campbell will be back as Sydney Prescott in Scream 7, but nothing's come out due to the strikes. Now, if more reputable outlets want to start talking about the fact that she was indeed negotiating, that's fine. But, ho but hopefully those negotiation reports can also then lead to, hey, we discovered that she did ink a deal. And then you'll have your official announcement that Nev Campbell will be back as Sydney Prescott in Scream 7. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and name this video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.